everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we will talk about unit and status bar setting in AutoCAD so uh, I will start my drawing with one of the uh, basic templates so navigate to this option called templates in that click this down arrow button so I'm gonna click this uh, option called acat.dwt so once you're gonna did, uh, did that the drawing is gonna open so uh, I will started my drawing using a ready-made template and uh, we will talk about creating these templates in upcoming videos but for now uh, let's make some uh, settings uh, something like that so I will start with the unit related setting so I will start this drawing uh, and currently I don't know anything about uh, the unit or the position so to access the unit window I will type a UN on the command line here this is the command line and I will press enter so let me enter as UN so once you have entered UN uh, click uh, enter the enter key in your keyboard I'm gonna click enter so now this will open a drawing uh, unit or a window or the palette so now in this window uh, we can uh, make all the unit related setting right here in this window now uh, if you don't want to use this uh, command uh, then uh, you can also uh, go to this application button you can cancel this and you can navigate to this option and uh, in that we're gonna click this option called drawing utilities and here we're gonna click this option called units so let me click that so in this way you can uh, start your unit window so here uh, we have our uh, three main uh, panels so we have our length panel and we have angle panel and we have the insertion uh, scale panel so let's start with our length, pla length panel so in the length panel we have uh, the format of, uh, of our unit and uh, these are all the format of the units uh, that we have so uh, you can select uh, the architectural format if you want to make your drawing in uh, imperial uh, imperial units uh, like feet and uh, inches and uh, you can select uh, a decimal format if you are making your drawing in uh, decimal formats like millimeter and uh, meters so in this case uh, i will select the decimal format so now the precision uh, is the number of uh, decimal places which will be displayed in your drawing area so you can uh, select uh, from any of these so I will select uh, uh, two decimal places for now so uh, that's the length uh, panel and also we have uh, other formats uh, also like engineering fractional and scientific that uh, you can select if you are using these format for the drawing so in the next is uh, next is our angle panel so now here we have the decimal degree and degree minutes seconds and uh, grads radians and surveyors uh, units and here uh, the decimal uh, degrees and uh, degree minutes seconds are the two most uh, frequently used angle format so you can also select the grade uh, radian and surveyors uh, unit uh, if uh, these are the format that you prefer to use and select uh, i will select decimal degrees so now again uh, precision is a uh, is again a uh, precision for the angle so let me show you that and uh, in this case I'm gonna select uh, only uh, with one decimal place as my precision so now the angles uh, will have a precision of uh, just one decimal place and now uh, we have this uh, option called uh, a clockwise uh, checkbox well uh, basically in AutoCAD uh, all the directions are anti or uh, anti-clockwise and uh, anti-clockwise is uh, taken is uh, generally taken as a positive uh, direction so if you want to uh, reverse it uh, if you want to make the clockwise as a positive direction and uh, check this uh, tick box here so uh, this will uh, reverse the default so uh, don't do that I will uh, recommend against uh, checking this uh, tick box here so just leave the default uh, right here so next we're gonna see that as our insertion scale so it is the most important thing that uh, and uh, that's the actual uh, scale of your drawing so currently the scale is uh, in uh, inches or the unit is in inches so click this down arrow button and uh, you can change it to whatever units you want here so you can select your unit of your choice so there is a big uh, list of units and uh, you can even select a unit list uh, if you don't want to specify any units so there is an option called a uh, unit list here but since I have selected the decimal uh, here in the angle so in the length uh, panel here I will select as a millimeter for this I'm gonna select millimeters 
now uh, if you could have selected an architectural in the length format then uh, you can select uh, inches in the insertion scale as your unit but uh, that again depends on your choice so for this one I have selected a millimeter here and now uh, you can see the uh, sample output here so the the length will uh, will look like this 1.50 so we have uh, two decimal places uh, because uh, we have uh, selected two as a precision so you can able to see from here we have selected a two as our precision here and uh, the angle will look like will uh, look like this 45 so where the 45 is an angle because we have uh, a precision of one decimal places after uh, this dot we have so we have a 45.0 is the angle uh, we have uh, a precision of one decimal places after uh, a dot this dot we have just uh, one decimal places just 45.0 so we have one decimal places here that is 0, 0.0 as a result we have 45.0 so this is just about the sample output so next we have our lightning so the units uh, for specifying the intensity of lightning so the lightning uh, unit which is related to the AutoCAD uh, 3, 3D so we leave the default setting here and after that we're gonna click OK and uh, we have our uh, unit setting so the units are now uh, set so OK then uh, let's move on and uh, let's talk about uh, the status bar option so uh, here is the status bar uh, and there is a lot of uh, tools and icons on the status bar here you can able to see that this is the status bar we will actually talk about the status bar uh, tools uh, later in the upcoming videos but uh, before we begin uh, anything we need to uh, make some changes on this status bar options so the very first uh, option is the grid so uh, this thing is the background grid so this graph uh, this is a kind of a graph paper uh, kind of thing uh, you can uh, keep it active or deactivated it hardly matters for this case so to activate it we have to press this uh, so to deactivate it we have to press this option so now we can able to see that the graphs are uh, deactivated so let me turn it on again so uh, in this case uh, let me uh, deactivate it then uh, we have our next option uh, is called a snap mode so you can able to see that here so don't activate it if you activate it uh, it will create so if you activate it uh, it will create an error in your drawing so just uh, deactivate the snap mode if it is inactive so it is currently is in uh, deactivated you can see snap mode is off so you make sure that you deactivate it so the next option is uh, is called as a dynamic uh, input mode so now uh, if you activate your dynamic input and then uh, if you select any commands uh, there will be uh, this kind of uh, uh, this kind of thing here then uh, if you select any commands uh, there will be uh, this kind of uh, thing uh, right next to your cursor you can able to see that the specify first point so this is the right next to your when, uh, when you select the dynamic input mode you can see this uh, next to your cursor here so uh, you will see this thing uh, right next to your cursor when you uh, activate the dynamic input mode and uh, if you deactivate it so I will deselect, deactivate it and then I will select the line command here well uh, you won't see anything uh, next to your cursor so once again uh, I will recommend that you deactivate this uh, dynamic input mode so uh, leave it deactivated and uh, if you don't see this dynamic input on your status bar then go to this uh, customization icon here so uh, this is the customization icon so I'm gonna uh, click this and you can able to see the variety of uh, modes here and uh, click the dynamic input so all of these icons uh, which are checked are now visible here on the status bar you can able to see that so for now uh, just check this uh, dynamic input and then uh, it will be visible here and then uh, deactivate it so the next option is the auto mode and uh, the ortho mode you can able to see that and the polar tracking here this option is called the polar tracking so uh, in this case just keep this uh, polar tra tracking is on make sure that you activate the only the polar tracking and uh, here also uh, if you uh, click uh, this arrow right next to this polar tracking uh, you will see the list of uh, angles 
and just make sure that you select uh, the 90 is selected here so selected uh, 90 here and uh, finally we will go to this thing so it looks like a square with another square on the top uh, left corner here you can able to see that this is called as object snap and make sure that you activate it so i have turned on both the uh, snap object and the snap object tracking is turned on and also uh, click this arrow uh, right next to uh, this object here so activate this following points uh, so select endpoint and select the midpoint and select the center if a midpoint is not selected just uh, select it so that uh, this checkpoint is visible here you can able to see that this checkpoint and if you are using the older version of this AutoCAD, uh, you won't see the geometric center. So also uh, deactivate the geometric center and also uh, deactivate the extension as well as the tangent. For now, so only keep these four points active. There is our endpoint, midpoint, center and the intersection. So we will talk about this tool in the later uh, in the upcoming videos. So but for now, uh, it's important that you keep uh, only four of these active and uh, with all that uh, and uh, with that all other uh, should all the other should be deactivated so if you see anything else uh, active uh, just uh, click on it to uh, it to deactivate it so finally we have uh, just three options uh, active polar tracking so active uh, polar tracking an object an object uh, snap tracking and uh, last is our object snap so now uh, we are done making all this uh, settings so in the upcoming videos we will talk about saving this uh, setting as a template so in this video we have focused on units and status bar setting in autocad so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like